Hello guys, you're about to watch how I target the USA market in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook Reels and YouTube Shorts. Uh, this video is gonna be so boring, I'm not gonna make any edition because it's just a tutorial, uh, that's it. Take care guys. Hello guys, I just wanted to show you the phone that I use to dropship. And you don't need all these phones at the beginning, if you are just starting you can uh, dropship with just an iPhone and that's it. The first phone that I have is an Android. This Android is just for my bank accounts and all that stuff. It's really slow and it's really hard to use. I don't like it, but it's what I have at this moment. Uh, the next phone is another Android. I just, I just have been uh, trying to use my method, the VPN and SIM card method, and it seems to work. I have heard that people have problems with Android, and to be honest, I, I just use this iPhone because I ha I, ha I had it uh, there and I just wanted to try to use the method. And it seems to work, but to be honest, everyone recommends iPhone because it's more secure or something like that. I don't know why it's better to target uh, the iPhone with an iPhone but it seems to work better for some reason. This was my first iPhone, it's an iPhone 11. It, it works well, it, it worked well. I have the same method as the Android, the VPN and SIM card method. The next phone that I have just bought a couple of weeks ago is this iPhone 12, this iPhone 12 refurbished. It, it's working really, really good. And, and the main phone that I'm using at this moment to record all my videos and to do all the, all the heavy work of editing and all that stuff is the one that I'm using right now to record this video. Uh, it's an iPhone 12, just like this one. This new package has arrived. Here there, there are two more iPhones, two iPhones uh, SE, yeah, iPhones SE. And these ones are not for recording or something like that because the the quality of the video is really trash with these ones, but I'm just gonna use it to upload more videos in my with different accounts and to avoid the shadow ban. I don't know if, if it's true, but I have to buy it to uh, to uh, to stop thinking about that I'm shadow ban because having a bunch of, of accounts in the same phone. Let's open it. And here are the the boxes. These are obviously refurbished iPhones. I'm, I'm not gonna buy a new phone to do this. To do this, I just want. I just want to have more iPhones to upload more videos. Whatever you know is, I just wanted to to buy the cheapest iPhones that I could find. And these ones, this this was the one. I I will be putting in the screen the the money that cost me. This is the. The phone looks pretty good. The, the aesthetics looks well. It's refurbished by Amazon. So I have like a charger and a cable. Looks pretty pretty good to be honest. I didn't thought that that this phone was that good. To be honest, I, since I'm buying like refurbished iPhones, I think this is better. This this one has a, a screen protector. Even it ha has a screen protector. You can look at, at that. It looks like new. It looks just like a new iPhone. So it's it's right. I guess it's right. I just as I said, I just need this phone to to upload more videos, and that's it. Let's see the the second one. It looks just the same. Is looks really good. Looks like looks like new. Obviously, it's not new. Now I want to show you how I set up my phones to target the USA or any country if you want to target the UK, whatever. Just apply this to your country. First, just uh, choose your language, the language that is, that is spoken in the country, in this case English. Now choose the region, the region in this case is United States, United States, here it is. Then just continue. Then set up without another device is the only option. Uh, choose your Wi-Fi. I already choose the Wi-Fi. I just have to wait a few, a few 
minutes. Damn, I look like a little homeless, bro. Oh, let's continue. Now, uh, this thing just continue. Next thing, continue. No, no, no. It's just set up by Marcel, by myself. Then uh, touch ID. Set up, set up touch ID. Just set it up. I have just set up my touch ID. Whatever you know, I think if you don't need it. You don't need it. To be honest, I just like to to have like passwords in everything. If I lose something, so no one, no one can access to my device. And the next thing after you set up your Apple ID or whatever or Face ID or whatever, uh, don't transfer anything. I we want to have this as a new iPhone, as a new iPhone, as a new person, whatever. Uh, so the next thing is to create the Apple ID. This is you have to to sign in your Apple ID. What I'd like to do is to go in my computer. I have just done that, but I didn't record it. And I have all other other emails. Then I create two new Apple IDs because I, I have two phones. I want to have like different Apple IDs because I want to to try to simulate as close as possible that I'm different persons. So I create one Apple ID for this one and for the other one. And when you create your Apple ID, it is really important that you go to your settings in your Apple ID from your computer and there you uh, put the address that you the, of the country that you are targeting. In this case, I'm targeting USA. So I put the 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 address of New York or whatever. Uh, I just went to a random website that generates a fake address and just put it there and save it. And now I just have to log in with the Apple ID that I just created in this phone. I just log in in the Apple ID that I just created in USA. And something really important is that you have to write down in a paper or whatever you want uh, the email of, of this Apple ID, the password of the email, and and also the password of the Apple ID, and all all in a paper on a safe place. Because if you lose this, you won't be able to use again the the phone if you forget the password or something like that. So be careful with that. Yes, I agree. Whatever, I I, I can't disagree with this the terms and conditions of Apple. Same here, I agree. Let's just wait. I look, I look hopeless. <sighs> I need a haircut. This appears, uh, just the updates or whatever, continue, whatever. And this is important, guys. This is the location service, something like that. Yeah, loca location service. So here you have to choose Disable service. Disable service. We don't have. To, we don't want to let the iPhone know our our location. So disable location service, and that's it. Uh, set up cellular data. Transfer. Uh, set up later. Whatever you know. Next, Apple Pay. Whatever we don't want that. Mm, Siri. Whatever. Set up later. Set up later. Screen time. Analytics, don't share. I, I like dark mode, brothers. But eh, I'm gonna choose dark mode. Uh, get started. Something that I forgot, guys, is to put your SIM card in your iPhone. If you haven't, just put it there and that's it. And continue. In my case, my SIM cards haven't arrived. I'm still waiting for them. So once it, it arrives, I will continue. But the next thing that I'd like to do is to go to the App Store download uh, not VPN, turn it on, never turn it off, and then download all the apps. And that's it. I want to share more information with you that I have found is that the method that I just told you, some people say that if you use a VPN, you get banned from TikTok, you get low views and all that stuff. In my case, I used to have low views. This is the main reason why I bought different phones because one of the things that people say is because you have a lot of a lot of accounts in your same phone or because you are using a VPN. 
it might be one of those. So to mitigate these things that might shadow ban me, I decided to buy more phones to have only one account in, in one phone. And another thing that I have found is that there are people that are just using a SIM card. They use the same method that I told you. Just an, a new Apple ID in USA, restore your phone, you know, and put your SIM card in your, your USA SIM card in your phone and then download your apps. And that's it. It seems to work that way. So I don't know, maybe in the future I will change this method. I just, I'm just using this method because I bought a subscription of NordVPN and I feel like it's stupid without using it. But something that I noticed is that when you just have a SIM card in your phone, um, TikTok indeed is in English, is in the United States, but Instagram and YouTube, they are in, in your country. Your feed is in your country and that makes me feel like insecure. So when you download NordVPN, you can see all the trends in YouTube shorts and in Instagram in English. So that's the reason why I also keep doing this, but I contact another guy that he has helped me a bunch and he he told me that he's just he's not even using like a VPN or SIM card and he just upload English content to Instagram and YouTube. Uh, but he doesn't like to do TikTok because, because t in TikTok is, is, is different. The main points, brothers, is that you just have to follow the method that I told you and it's for sure it's gonna work. And if you don't want to spend money in a VPN, just use the SIM card method and that's it. Uh, if I haven't bought like the VPN, not VPN subscription, probably would be using this method, just the SIM card method.